Hello, my name is Mandy and welcome to today's vlog. Boom. So it is currently Monday, August 28th at 5.34 p.m. And typically for my vlogs, I start in the morning and kind of show you my morning routine and then just kind of slowly fade off into the rest of the day. But today I thought to myself, let's change things up. Today I'm gonna be showing you my evening routine or basically I'm just gonna take you with me as we have our evening time and get ready for bed. So if you're new to my channel, I am dealing with chronic illness right now. I have chronic fatigue syndrome, also known as myalgic encephalomyelitis, ME, and like fibromyalgia symptoms as well. And there's a lot that I've learned about it that I've been sharing, and there's a lot that I don't really understand that I've been learning. So I'm kind of taking you on my journey with that. There are like three flies by this window. So just an update on how I've been feeling. I have been really up and down. I've had some great days, some better days than I've had in a while, and I've had some really hard days physically as well. I know I have some people on my channel who also deal with chronic illness or CFS, and if you do, I've been taking something called D-Ribose. Let me show you real quick, I'll go grab it. I've been taking this three times a day. It's like the first supplement that has made a difference. James is here, I wanna go and scare him. My love is home! Gosh, I'm gonna punch you. <laughs> I hope you got that on video. I scared him really, really good. So anyways, I feel like the D-Ribose is actually making a difference, but I've still had some really hard days. And today has been honestly pretty hard so far. I woke up with a terrible sore throat and really swollen glands. I have not been very productive today, but I'm doing okay, I'm making it. For dinner tonight, I cooked up a whole chicken in here. It's super duper easy and so delicious. Here's what it looks like. So we're gonna eat chicken, and I think I'm gonna roast up some sweet potatoes and vegetables to go with that. I love sweet potatoes. Now the struggle of being chronically ill is hard because I am the type of person once I start going, cooking or cleaning i get on a roll and i don't want to stop and right now i'm pretty exhausted but when i look around my kitchen i need to put up all these dishes i washed earlier i need to put up this george foreman grill thing our table you probably can't really tell is super dirty and needs to be wiped down i've got all kinds of random junk sitting everywhere and it's hard because I want to get it all done, but I have to pace myself. I've got broccoli cooking on the stove, chicken sun in there. And what I'm gonna do with mine, I am gonna turn it into a salad. So I've got some romaine, butter, lettuce, and radicchio. I'm gonna top it with just a little bit of this honey mustard because it, it's really, really good, but I can't have too much of the avocado oil or it'll make me sick right now. So I'll use just a cap full of that. I'm gonna season it with some smoked paprika, which is something kind of unique that I've been really liking lately. And this is actually one of my new favorite things. It's this coconut vinegar. It claims to be more nutritious than apple cider vinegar, which I really don't know if it is or not, but I actually really like the taste. It's not super coconutty, but it's not nearly as strong tasting as apple cider vinegar. Lover. My food looks so good. What? I saw the fly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, they're sitting on the window. Oh, sorry. Well, my good lighting. Earlier today, I made these date balls with dates and cacao powder, vanilla, and oats, gluten free oats. Yes. Yum. So they're little brownie bites and they're really yummy. Now James is gonna try them. We're gonna do a taste test. <sighs> you have to eat this too it's cold? Too much. Is it too cold? I didn't freeze it for so long last time. No, I'm just kidding. So <laughs> what would you make with it? Make out? Yep, can definitely taste the cacao. Yeah, you should taste it. It's chocolate. This is more of a mandy dessert than James dessert. <laughs> you don't like it? No, it's good though. Granola bars are better though. <laughs> He doesn't like it, so that means I get all of them. 
They're really good. Yep. Mm. So lately for our night routine, after dinner, James will play his game and then I'll like hang out or play. I'll, I've been playing my piano during this time a lot. Same one? No, I killed this one instead. Okay. <laughs> Not nice. Calm down, fly. What the heck? You win. Six flies. Fly master. This is something fun I get to do for my hashtag healing. Every other day I give myself an injection, like literally basically give myself a shot. That is a needle. Ugh. I've gotten pretty good at it. It's not as painful anymore, but it's still just, it's just not fun at all. It's almost nine o'clock. This is my bedtime snack. This is his bedtime snack. Euros and, Euro meat and naan. Okay, what was the grand total of flies that you killed? Nine. Nine? I killed one. That's a good little party. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, for this part of our nighttime routine, this is called Netflix and Cuddle. <laughs> <laughs> so because of my hashtag chronic illness, sometimes I can have a hard time sleeping. So every night before bed, I take one of these melatonin tablets and and then sometimes I take this revitalizing sleep formula too if I want extra herbal things helping my sleep. To wipe off my makeup, I just use coconut oil, a paper towel, and I wet the paper towel, put on a little bit of coconut oil. I like smear it all around and then just wipe it off. You have to be careful with coconut oil for it to not go down the drain. So I just wet my face first and then coconut oil it. And I like just smear it all over my face. Now I wash my face with this. I usually spray some of this. And I use some of that. All three of these products are free of toxins and chemicals and all natural. James is super disciplined in his evening exercises. What is this called? Stretching. But like you do your like mobility routine. Uh-huh. Is this different from that? So he usually, he has his like, look how, you're like more flexible than me. It's not even fair. Gosh. My stretching regimen isn't as disciplined as James's. I'm squeaking again. I'm doing the squeaking thing. My stretching regimen isn't as disciplined as James, but yes, I'm going to stretch tonight and I do it as much as I can, or at least I do whenever I feel good. The last thing before I go to bed is my journaling and right now I'm literally doing three journals. <laughs> I'll show you. My first journal I do is an Evernote and it's just for my health. I keep track of my supplements, whether or not I did my injections. I track my fatigue, my pain, other symptoms I have. I typically track all of my food that I eat as well as my exercise if I do any. Um, this has been very helpful to me so I can notice trends in how I'm feeling and progressing. My second journal is the best self journal and I've only been doing this over a week and I've been been really loving it. In the morning, as you can see, I kind of plan out my day and track it on the side. I have a place for notes. I express gratitude 
in the morning there's um, I have a goal that I set I set some targets for the day and then right now what I do is I write down the lessons that I've learned today um, the wins and I write three things that I'm grateful for and it just takes a couple minutes and my last and final journal is just my personal more like diary ish journal where I just kind of write about the day and feelings and thoughts and emotions and things stuff words this is my journal i just got it from target i actually only have a couple days left in there so i got another one from target that'll be starting i think later this week then after we journal we usually just lie and read for a little bit before we actually turn out the light james is very consistent with reading i don't always read at night <laughs> i read and listen to books at other parts of the day more often than not but the final and most important habit that we do every single night that we've done since we were dating is we always pray before we go to bed we really value that habit and we think it's very important for in your marriage to have a consistent habit of praying together so this was a little bit of a different video because i've never really shown this part of my day before i hope so now we're gonna go to sleep thank you for watching and if you like watching my videos and you're not yet subscribed clicking that button is a really great next step because it keeps you up to date with my videos and it also helps me out as well thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next video i guess good night Bye. Yeah.